All right, hey guys, and welcome back to, or welcome, welcome back. Welcome to uh, something new I'm doing on my channel. Because Resident Evil uh, Unity is coming out, I figured I'd do Resident Evil, or, gosh, Resident Evil. <laughs> Restart. Stroke. <laughs> so, because Assassin's Creed Unity is coming out in October, I figured I would do um, Assassin's Creed 3. Um, I'm not going to do all the Assassin's Creed's on my channel, this isn't like going to be like just a normal thing, it's basically going to be, in essence, um, the Resident Evil, God, I'm a keeper saying Resident Evil's, Assa anytime I say it, Resident Evil, just input Assassin's Creed in there, so I, because, I'm not going to play all of the Assassin's Creed's on my channel, just the ones that interest me, um, this being one of them, and then Black Flag being another, so, um, anyway, let's, uh, let's jump into it, shall we? Stop, uh, boring it. Uh, play without you play passport. I don't need it. Single player story. Start a new game. Uh, sure. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden. Some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be, when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Sorry about my brother in the background, just FYI, he's playing with some of his friends, so he's going to be very, very freaking loud. Although I'm going to get some water, I'm thirsty. Alright. Jesus Christ! It sounds like I'm living with a freaking Al-Qaeda terrorist. So, you, by the way, this is why I record when nobody's freaking here. Because nobody's fucking quiet in my house. 
Everybody's loud as shit. Even when I say, be the fuck quiet. Nobody's fucking quiet. Jesus. I got sound go. off the shit out of my room. Hold up. Can I pause this? Please? Please? I just want to pause it. Turn on subtitles. Jesus. Two games I've been playing today. Can't freaking get subtitles going. Son of a bitch! Whatever. Fuck it. I'll do it later. Cool, it's saving. Hmm, I wonder where the thing goes. I don't know, maybe there. Maybe the, you know, round shaped hole. Looks like it fit a cantaloupe in it. Oh, yeah, what do you know? I was right. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Boy quotes Alice in Wonderland? I like making tattoos on his arm. <laughs> that was a weird pause. Jeez, dude, it's dark as shit. I can kind of see, but I don't know if y'all can. How do I run in this bitch? What the? Not really, though. Where am I supposed to go? Hey, like, he blipped forward. That's gross. I think we're here. Really? Yo. Uh -oh. oh, finally I can run. I was wondering how I was supposed to do this. Jeez. That took a long ass time. I was like, how do I run in this bitch? Oh, look at that stare on the guy in the back. It was gross. He's all... Motherfucker. He's got the most pissed off look, I swear. Bloop. <laughs> Prepare for probing. Step one, spread cheeks wide. Step two, pucker up, bitch. It's going in. <laughs> and... Oh, Stupid battery on controller. This goes out. I'm just going to switch to the other one I have. Should last me for ten more minutes. Yo. The key. You must find the key. Son. Sir. What in the world? Here we go again. Desmond? Just out of it. Do you hear us? Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? 
You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And Stupid. I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. Jeez, Guess that's man. why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. All right, cool. So. Okay, Desmond. While you were uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Crack that and run. I like running. It's fun. That's what this game's about. I like how she says walking and even says running. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Oh, going up. It's actually kind of funny. I used to be into free running, and then I realized, oh yeah, I'm not that I'm not that athletic. <laughs> so that was a thing. What you know about that? Hello. Free ride your way through this little obstacle course. Whoop! Whoop! Nailed it! So gone. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Whoop! Whoop! Got him! All you have to do here is jump the gap. Get choked out. Again, sorry about my brother. Gosh, this is gonna irritate me the whole time. Oh well. That was a bad decision. <clears throat> Boom. And jump. Gotcha. Mother. Fucker. Go up, go up, go up. And I... And we have liftoff, folks. Whoop. This guy's just jumping for all he's worth. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Okay. Sweet. Can I run, please? Nope. Sir. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied. I think that was the one thing I didn't like about this game is the stupid, uh, freaking Hatham Kenway. Or those things that 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 pissed me off. General blood subtitles on. Okay. That's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Ooh. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the opera house. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring a round of one. Sweet. I'm gonna go kill somebody. Blood, death. It's a great thing. My ear itches. Invitation, please. Hmm. Shall I take your coat, sir? No need. I'm not gonna be here long. Oh, I thought I didn't even give him his invitation. I thought he was just like, bitch, please. Email received. And I'll, I'll get it later. You are requested to kindly find your seats. And here we are. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Uh, my apologies. 
Gosh, I really hate this Haven Kenway guy. He really pisses me off. This was the worst part of this whole game. It's his stupid ass parts. It's just, there's no need. It's worth it. It's bullcrap. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. <laughs> Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Switch to this. Got him! Right? Yeah, that's him. Sure. Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. I think I figured it out. Do we deploy now? Find a secluded area to climb. A thousand pardons. Uh, my apologies. So sorry. <laughs> he just pushes him down. He's like, don't get up, please. What the hell? Jeez, what was that crap? So I have to go around here? Yeah. I was, about, I was about to say, I don't know how you would be able to do this without getting caught, but I think about it, this is a pretty dark theater. He probably would be able to get away with it. With it. And do I can't keep going up? Oh, there we go. There we are. Look at all these people. Just so happy. Just so happy to be watching the theater. And put on an English accent for you, but it pissed me off, so. I'm good. Gosh, this is the worst parts. I swear. I swear to Jesus. Time to pick the lock. Got it. Somebody would be able to see him now. Guess not. Guess people were, were just uh, very, very. There we go. Now I got it. Got it. Didn't he have like three people with him? Found another way. Yes, but then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. I don't really think he'd die that fast from a knife, but whatever. Hey, buddy. You be quiet. You saw nothing. And... 
As soon as I get out of this theater, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Out of my way, people! Gosh. Takes people freaking forever. Get out of the way. Peace, friends, there is no danger. Yeah, I don't want to kill any of you. I'd kill the guy I wanted to kill. What are those men doing? Already off him. This is taking a while to get out of this theater. Where are you going? Why are people pushing me? I'm the law here. I'm the law. A wolf among the sheep. Why are you, another person pushes me out of the way? I swear, I'm killing him. I don't care. I got out. I'm good. And how was the old rather dull, truth be told? <laughs> well, got what I needed. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bride. By your command. That's what we're looking for. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. <laughs> or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you'll want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced, we booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. View progress, yada yada yada, fully synchron full synchronization, and bada bing bada boom. Hopefully this won't take too long. I want it to load so that I can get the other part done and not have to worry about editing it out. Okay, here we go. Come on. Please load. I beg you. Who's moving crap outside? Oh, somebody's doing something. Atlantic Ocean, day two. Oop. 
hear my stomach growl, I'm sorry. Fresh air might do me good. Alright guys, I'm actually gonna end it here, um, after it saves, that is. Uh, please save, please save, come on. Well, whatever, I'm gonna end it here, that's it for this, um, Assassin's Creed 3 part, guys, I'll see you on the next one, and yeah, bye!